This video is powered by diamonds and champagne. And by diamonds, I mean plastic diamonds from Poundland. And by champagne, I mean red wine that has been put through the soda stream to carbonate it. So technically speaking, not really champagne then. Now, it's worth noting that if you want to try putting red wine through the soda stream yourself, it's very important to release the pressure very slowly. If you don't release the pressure very slowly, you will literally paint your entire kitchen with red wine because... The tannin in the red wine, guess it's, guessing it's the tannin, creates lots of nucleation points and it doesn't like holding on to the carbon dioxide, so it comes out quite quickly. But if you have the patience to carbonate it yourself at home, uh, the red wine, let me just drink some now. Mm. The fizzy red wine is a rather unique drinking experience, quite pleasant. I'm guessing the reason they don't sell red wine is that because if they did sell red wine that was uh, carbonated, should I say, then as soon as people opened the bottle, it would just go everywhere. It would be quite a messy thing. It would also be very hard to do in the fact that it was making the carbonated red wine. But anyway, I digress. The subject of this video is the, well, diamonds and this PP3 case. And the reason I've got a PP3 case that's open is, is because in a previous video, I opened this battery to take out the cells inside because these PP3 9 volt batteries actually contain six one and a half volt cells to make up the 9 volts and they're just connected together. And someone had asked, uh, do they possibly contain quadruple A batteries? And quadruple A is a size that you get the triple A batteries, you get double A batteries, but you also get quadruple A, very rare, very limited range of products are used in, just ones that require a very thin barrel or a very slim case. And it's very hard getting these batteries, the quadruple A batteries, and it turns out that the size was very similar. I made another video about that where I measured it, but the size is extremely similar to quadruple A, just slightly shorter. Um, and someone else pointed out that that's probably because it's not got the pip in the end. And in that sense, if you leave the metal, little metal tab on and fold it over and just put a drop of solder in the end of that, uh, that would make the pip if you put, but don't try and solder directly onto a battery, always onto the sort of metal tab uh, just so it keeps the heat away from the cell itself otherwise it may pop uh, but i released the video on patreon now when i record my videos i release them initially on patreon it's only a few days ahead of when i release them on youtube and the reason for that is just because in the past i'd keep a small very small reserve of videos but i thought if i release them to patreon the patreon supporters can critique them they can actually add information to them and that can be added to the description and that often happens in some cases i make a video and it's just not quite right and uh, i ask is this good enough and sometimes i say it's fine and sometimes i say no it's not quite right and i'll re-record it it's kind of rare but that does happen however Getting back to the subject, I uploaded the video regarding this uh, and someone thought it was going to be an April Fool's video. Uh, Wayne, actually, is the chap involved. And he thought I was going to open it, it was going to be like crystals, it was going to be a joke. And I thought, what a good idea, because uh, I've got my Poundland diamonds here, I've got my case, and we can have a little game and we can determine how many diamonds, what weight of diamonds can you fit into a PP3. So uh, let's play the game. Let's drink more red wine. Mm. It's the weekend here. It's probably not the weekend to release this video where you are. But if it is the weekend and you're watching the video, then have some wine. So what we're going to do is this. I'm going to put this case on the scales. I'm going to zero out and then I'm going to fill it with the diamonds. Um, and then I'm going to pause. Well, you're going to pause and you're going to put the weight that you think it's going to be. Now, it's going to be either in grams or tenths of an ounce, that's a clue. It's not going to be very heavy at all because they're made of plastic. Um, or you can give the weight in carrots if you're very, very posh. So that's going to be grams, uh, tenths of an ounce, or carrots. And it's just going to be to the nearest gram, nearest tenth of an ounce, nearest carrot. It's not going to be accurate. So, um, yeah, let's start the game then. So I'm going to put it on the scales. I'm going to turn them on drug dealer skills because they're very accurate and that makes them you know they're very cheap so uh, let's uh, go to grams it's zeroed out and let's fill it with the diamonds so uh, let's pour these little diamonds in these are incidentally wedding table diamonds they're designed for putting onto wedding tables to make them look posh to bring dignity to the occasion i'd also like to mention that uh, right okay this is a good time for you to uh, 
pause the video and go and leave your comment down below, uh, below with the waiting uh, to the nearest gram, nearest tenth of an ounce or nearest carat. Uh, meanwhile, I'll just say that De Beers, the diamond merchants, are having real problems determining fake diamonds versus real diamonds. I'm just going to poke the scales here just to keep them awake. Um, because the Chinese are manufacturing diamonds. I'm going to add some more diamonds to this and shake it down a bit. Let's jam some more in. Is that is that a bad thing? Because uh, you've already guessed the weight. No, it's not. I'm cheating, am I, really? But De Beers are having difficulty determining what are real diamonds, what are fake, because the Chinese are putting seed diamonds into pressure vessels with microwave energy and really blasting them and creating. They're growing basically high-purity diamonds that are very hard to tell from the real thing. Uh, Okay, so you've made your guess. Let's weigh it. So first of all is grams. If you guessed nine grams, you're correct. What about ounces? If you guessed 0.3 ounces, you're correct. What about carats? If you guessed 46 carats, you were correct. Uh, it'd be interesting to know what the value of this would be if it was 46 carats of real diamond. Not sure how that would go weight-wise. I don't even know what this would weigh if it was real diamond. So uh, there we go. That's uh, what a PP3 battery holder filled with uh, plastic diamonds weighs.